What is going on guys, my name is Zerkstain and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 5 tips and tricks to get the maximum performance out of your laptop for gaming purposes. Now these tips and tricks will apply to all games because it's just general improvements and you might be seeing great FPS improvements in some games and in other games it might not affect it at all. So without any further ado here are 5 tips and tricks to get more performance out of your laptop. Tip number one would be making sure that your laptop is plugged in while gaming. So most gaming laptops don't really have the best battery life, and if you turn on your battery saver, you're just sacrificing a ton of performance. Now even if you're not on battery saving mode, when you are not plugged in, your laptop automatically like turns down its clock speeds because it wants to deliver you an optimal battery life. But obviously for gaming, we need the extra performance, so we want to make sure we're always plugged in. For tip number two, you want to go into your control panel, go onto hardware and sound, power options, and by default your power plan will be set on to balance, but what you want to do is you want to set it to high performance, which if you're plugged in, like you really don't need the, the uh, you don't really need to save energy because you're plugged in, and it really impacts performance on nearly all games. And if you want to be more advanced, you can change settings and plugged in, you can adjust the plane brightness even more, but I just leave it as it is. Tip number three is probably the most important one. What you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop and go into your NVIDIA control panel. Now since laptops have a both integrated GPU and a dedicated GPU, sometimes for games they start with the integrated GPU which is much weaker. Now in order to fix this, you want to set your default graphics processor to the high performance NVIDIA processor. And another thing you can change in here is in your power management mode, you can send it, set it to prefer maximum performance, which basically guarantees that all of your GPU's power is being utilized. Tip number four is going to be making sure that your drivers are always updated. For NVIDIA, you can do this by going into your GeForce ex Experience in your Drivers tab and just clicking on Download Driver. Now my driver isn't updated, so yours should look like this. But if you want to use the web browser version, um, if you don't want to download GeForce Experience, you can go to this website right here, and then you can just put in all of your graphics card's details. Now these are my graphics card details, and then you can click Search. Or if you don't know your graphics cards, you can go onto uh, your automatically find drivers, which I think will install GeForce Experience for you. For AMD, you want to go to the website up there, and then automatically detect and install your driver. Or if you know what it is, you can find your series of uh, AMD graphics cards and whatever Windows version you have. So keeping your graphics cards drivers up to date is pretty important. So the final tip, which is kind of optional, is to overclock your GPU. Now surprisingly, most laptop GPUs, they can be overclocked pretty well, and you're not really gonna notice that much of like a performance decrease over time, so I highly recommend you do it. Now this is what you want to do in MSI Afterburner, and then to make sure your graphics cards are actually uh, overclocked, you can go into GPU-Z, and just make sure that your GPU clock is higher than your default clock. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that these tips improve your performance on your laptop. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And I'll leave the uh, download links for MSI Afterburner and GPU-Z in the description below. And sorry I haven't made a video in two weeks. I went on a family vacation, but I'm going to try to upload at least twice a week uh, until the end of the summer. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, see you next time.